Hello everyone, welcome back to Hate Plus. Okay, I am excited and, uh, once again, nervous to see how day three of the male harem route is going to go. Last time, Mute killed herself. This time, Mute looks like she was going to kill herself, however, now Hyone is there with her. Which may change things up, actually. It's definitely going to change things up, because I already think I know what happens, based on what I've read. Just things I've heard. I haven't actually looked at, like, an exact, like, walkthrough of what's going to happen. But yeah, something's going to be different. Alright, let's continue. Good mo- oh, well, they're both there. That's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Hi. Good morning, sir. Let's get to reading, I guess. Um, I think I'm going to talk to the investigator first. Is that alright, Mute? Okay. Um, hey. Can we talk in private, please? Sure. Thanks, it's really important. Um, after you shut down everything for the day at around 4.37pm, Mute, well, she... Mute tried to kill herself. Okay. So I guess Hyune either convinces her or just prevents her from killing herself? Which I have to say is a relief. I've already been replaying many tragedies by, by doing multiple playthroughs of this game, so at least this one can be avoided. I mean, it wasn't really technically deleting herself, just trying to erase her memories to a blank slate, but... It's still just as bad. It's practically the same thing. It, yeah, it pretty much is. She seems despondent, and I don't know what to do. She saved my life, and now I just want to do the same for her. How can I help her? Wow, this this is the first time I've ever seen this. It's not a dialogue wheel. This is the first time I've ever seen this sort of option menu. It's not a dialogue wheel, it's an option list. Interesting. What should I say to her? <sighs> well, don't say I'm so sorry, Mute, because she doesn't want... She doesn't want pity. She was very clear about that, she doesn't. Don't be, honestly, given her personality, don't be a coward might be the most effective thing. However, I find the idea of telling someone who is thinking of killing themselves, themselves, to, uh, the idea of calling them a coward, I find that really disgusting. Like, really, really disgusting. I, I don't, I really don't like that. I know, it seems like a lot of people have the feeling that suicide is something that's, like, the coward's way out, you know? I... That, that, I, I hate that. That pisses me off. So, telling her I'm so sorry, Mute, wouldn't... Would definitely not work. Don't be a coward would be a, would be a really shitty thing to say. So I'm gonna go with this. I think we should talk. I know what it's like to feel that way. To feel completely powerless, like there's nothing you can do. But please, Mute, talk to me. I'm here to listen to you. What's there to say? I don't need your guilt trip and I don't need your pity. I just... It's not as if I have anything to live for anymore. There's no point to my continued existence, it's just a burden on others. If all I'm going to do is make things harder for other people, then maybe it's just time the Widow of the Magungwa does the right thing. Mute. I don't think she's a burden. It feels weird for me to say this, but I'm really happy to have her around. I thought we could have a fresh start. What should I say to her? <sighs> I'd miss you if you were gone. I, I don't think she'd give a flying shit about that. Stay alive to make up for failing me before. Hmm. I'm, I'm definitely gonna go with your responsibility is still to protect me. 
That has been her primary function. That has been her primary goal in life. Protecting. So yes, your responsibility is still to protect me. Your responsibility is still to protect me. I know I said that, but... Do you really want someone like me to be who you rely on? Like, no matter how you look at it, I don't have what it takes to help you. I'm not stupid. I can tell by the investigator's reactions. I mean, they're a good person for sure, but still. Earth is going to be more like your time. More like the time we're reading about than anything I know. What could I even do for you? But I'm sure... You're mute. What do I say? What do I say? What do I say? Um... <laughs> Don't make me have to figure out Earth while also mourning you. Hmm. I, I really, I think I'm gonna go with if I can survive culture shock, you can too. Don't make me have to figure out Earth while also mourning you. Just finish what you started, at least. Nah, if I can survive culture shock, you can too. You couldn't. You couldn't deal with it either, like, in the worst possible way. Yeah, but okay, shit. I was worried that might be the reaction. I was a scared little girl with nobody there for me. You're mute. You're 312 years old and capable of living to be 1600 years old. You're not like I was at all. You have to try. You're better than that. I know you're better than that. I... I... Okay. Yes! It actually, oh my god, it actually worked. We got through to her. I think. I still think I'll just be a burden, but... I'll go on living, if that's what you want me to do. It is. It really is. I don't know what, go what good I'll be to you, but... If it would just make things worse for me to be gone, then I guess killing myself would just be selfish. I might be a failure. I might be worthless. But I don't want to make things worse. Let's get to work then, I guess. Oh, what a relief. Thank you, I was so scared I wouldn't be able to change her mind. I'm still worried about her, but... I think she'll stand by her word, at least. Yeah, I mean, she's obviously not happy. But... Hopefully... If she just holds on a while longer, she can... process everything and maybe feel differently about it get past it a little bit enough to want to keep going maybe I can only hope I don't want her gone neither do I oh by the way Mr. Investigator mm -hmm. I realize that you know how there were a lot of files that just looked like junk data well I think they're actually just encrypted with the same key that Mute's last note was as far as I can tell it's a whole block of log files about Oh Yana. Anyway, I'm nervous to read them, but I just thought you should know. Wait a minute, have I read these before? Did this happen before and I forgot, or what? Let's get back to work. Together, mute. Okay. Lead on, Mr. Investigator. I honestly can't remember if this happened before. Oh, whoops. Okay. Respectful of family. Did I read that? I'm trying to jog my memory here. I read that, I read that, I read that, I read that. I'm sure I read that. I will be his bride. Probably read that. Striking back at society's betrayal. God, I have a terrible memory. I honestly don't remember if I've read those. Hmm. 
Alright, well, let's just grab them. Just going by the M's again. M3, M3, M3. Oh god, there's a suicide note again. I really don't want to read that. I really don't want to read that again. It's so horrible. Queen Consort. I'm pretty sure this did happen before and I read them. I think. I think I did. I just get the suicide note over with. No. Fuck. <laughs> yep, that pretty much sums it up. I'm not going to spend any more time on that. I really don't want to. I think we should take a break now. Okay, I guess they were... Yeah. They... Heavy stuff for them. Hey, I think we should take a break. Sure. Mute. Sure. Whatever. Yeah, she's not doing good. She's just... She doesn't really care about much of anything. She cares enough to stay around because we want her to, but... She doesn't really care about much of anything else. It's not like I'm good for doing anything else. Oh. She's still not really doing that much better. Yeah. I want to help her. I want to support her the way nobody ever did for me, but... I just don't know what to say. How do I reassure her? How do I get her to open up? <laughs> cheer, cheer up. Yeah, that's gonna work on mute. Uh, no. I don't think that's true. I don't care what you think. It absolutely is. No matter how you look at it, I'm worthless. I had one job. One job. Keep the Magungwa safe. I mean, like, what's done is done. I'm not, it's... Fine. You beat me. You got past mute security systems, mute security systems, and enacted the worst case scenario of what I was supposed to stop. I wasn't... It doesn't matter. Don't justify it. It doesn't matter. The point is, you beat me. 300 years of experience was bested by an 18-year-old 18-year-old royal cons consort who learned a few command line tricks from her dad. What kind of worthless security program can't even stop that? I... Oh well, maybe if I had more experience, I could have instead just uh, been killed in the same way old Mute was. She's just as much of a failure as me. But at least she didn't have to live with herself afterwards. Mute. <sighs> That's far too ha harsh on old Mute, no matter how you look at it. Isn't it, Mr. Investigator? She was... I know, your feelings on her are complicated. And that's fair, but... It's just not right to dismiss someone like that completely as being a failure. It's not that simple. I agree. What should I say? <sighs> hmm. Let me think about this one. It wasn't your fault. Well, that's not going to work, because she feels like... Because it kind of was her, she feels like that is her. She feels responsible for everything Mute has ever done. Even if it was a different Mute. Didn't old Mute try her best? The thing is, the only thing Mute's gonna say to that is, yeah, she did, and she was still a failure despite trying her best. So I'm gonna go with, so what? So what? You tried your best. You did everything you thought was right. That's important. No, what's important is that everyone is dead because of me. Some things just aren't under your control, Mute. I know that. Don't patronize me. It's still my duty to keep everyone safe. And I failed in that duty. Maybe if I just hadn't been programmed like a stupid woman. Oh my god, Mute. If I was just capable of being more rational about things. If I could have been the sort of construct that was better equipped to argue with Emperor Ryu to stop him from giving you the root password. If I'd just been a male construct instead, maybe everyone would still be alive. That's really how she feels? That's horrible. 
Jesus. Mute. I know, I know, it's impossible. That's not who I am, and no amount of cursing fate will ever change that. But I, but I was designed to be a security program. If I can't do that, then what good am I? I still think you're... Well, you're wrong, okay? Just shut up with your shitty platitudes. I just... I wish she'd stop shouting at me. I'm just trying to help. I know, I know. I want her back to her old combative self. Sure, but not like this. I don't think she's worthless at all. Why won't she believe me? I just want to support her. What should I do? <laughs> Hug her. That would so not work. I am curious, though. Let me just save. I... <laughs> I'm like 99% certain that she would not want to hug, but I'm sorry, I have to do it. Hug her. I know what it's like to be scared, Mute. Come here. <laughs> it's fine to be scared, Mute. I don't... You're scared. You're shocked. You've learned a lot of horrifying things over the past three days. It's traumatic, and you don't know how to deal with it. Oh my god, is this actually working? There's no way to deal with that. I... I... You're upset. You're emotional. You're traumatized. Please trust me, Mute. I know how you're feeling. Please trust me. Let me be rational for you. Let me help you, please. You're allowed to be scared. But don't let being scared make you say things that aren't really true. Let me be objective for you. Okay. Oh my god, it actually worked! I, I can't believe that. Thank you. Nobody's ever... Okay, I'll try. Maybe you're right. Mute, the universe scares me, too. Earth might be more like the place I dreamed of than the place I woke up in. But I'm just like you, Mute. We grew up in the same society, learned to serve in the same royal women's quarters. I don't know how to deal with the Earth I dreamed of any better than you do. I need someone who can be with me to support me. I know you're scared, but I'm scared too. But I think if we're together, we can learn to deal with that scary barbaric universe together. I... maybe. But why? Why would you even trust me like this? Why do you care so much about a failure of a security program like me that never did anything for you? Because... Jeez, I can't tell her the truth. Wait, the, the truth? What, what truth? What, am I missing something? That would be too forward, and she'd never accept it. What do I say? What do I say? Wait, wait, what, what truth is she talking about? Did I miss something? Hmm. <laughs> well, because isn't even an argument. It's a secret. What? Is that a joke? That... no. This seems like the only real option. <laughs> but it's a secret. What kind of an option is that? I'm kind of curious to go back and try these. That's why I'm saving, just in case I want to try it. Th yeah, because of what we read about Old Mute, it's pretty much like the only option. The only real option. Yeah. I've learned a lot about you over the past three days. I know what kind of person you used to be. And maybe I have complicated feelings, but I know you're good and you've always stood up for what you believe in. Okay, okay. What do I have to lose? I'll, I'll believe in you. Oh my god, it actually worked! That is such a relief. I'm still mute. AI in charge of the Mgungwa's security operations. I still have a job to do. Yes, Mute, that's it. You have a purpose. Come on. Mute. So, even if I'm scared, even if I don't know what to do, even if I failed so many times before, 
I'll give it a shot, Yane. Thank you, Mute. That's such a relief. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for helping. Let's finish reading these all together, then. Okay. She's actually smiling a bit. Ah, that's such a relief. That's something I can do. Yes! Operation Give Mute a Purpose and Jeer Her Up a Success. This is the AI psychology, yep. Okay. Well, top down, I guess. Co-conspirator, which I believe I've read, right? It's so weir weird reading about Queen Yana like this. I didn't realize you were already asleep by the time... Okay, yeah, I've definitely read this. Well, if, he, if he's anything like his descendant, he's probably... Whoa, no, 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 don't tell me this. I cannot hear what you're about to say, okay? Wait, what? What, do you, what are they talking about? If he's anything like his descendant, he's probably... <laughs> mm. I, I'm not sure what they're talking about. I, I agree with what they're saying, though. Okay, okay, good. That's still really admirable of her. Is she talking about Queen Yana or Misun? Misun. Because there's really nothing about Yana that's admirable. This is... I know, I know. She was a seduct... Sed oh, crap. What is she even doing? This is so gross. I don't know how to feel. Wait, what's going on in this part? Then he leaned in closer and stole a kiss from me. I oh yeah, that's the one where she's... Basically getting together with Ryu to create their little... Banding together to get their political, social ideas through. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about her anymore. Oh, I know how I feel about her. Oh, yes. The most important thing. Oh, so this is the little sister, then. Yep. Like, I don't... God, I don't even really want to look at her picture. It's just painful. I never knew her because she took her own life, leaving Yana heartbroken for the rest of her life. The, re the relationship seems kind of... Uh, well... I don't know. This is... That's completely reasonable. I don't, I don't even know want, want to know what you're talking about. Because I probably disagree with it. Well, I never realized it, but, like, Queen Yana was quite the scholar, wasn't she? Yeah, she was very learned, I guess the term is. She was smart. There's no doubt about that. She was smart. She was smart, and she was cunning, and she was driven. Unfortunately, though, what she did with those abilities was not good, to say the least. I think I'd feel the same way in Misun's situation. Oh, Hyane, of course you would. The hell's that supposed to mean, mute? Consort? Consort? Ex Counselor. Oh, who was that again? Old Counselor of Education. Okay, replaced under meritocracy by a family member. That's right. As to Pion Misun, which was her old name. I don't know what to make of this. Burned evidence, burned feelings. Oh. 
Wait, writing on paper? I thought that was illegal. Yeah. God, me soon. All the shit she did for her big sister. Although in reality they were lovers, but, you know. That's really sad. Yeah. Just everything she did. She just... How unlucky is Misun that she loved such a horrible, toxic woman. She rigged the council. Queen Yana, she... She really did do that herself? That's... <laughs> what time of month does she mean by that one? Don't worry about it, Yane. <laughs> oh no. But like, why didn't she actually tell Yana about these feelings? I... Why didn't she tell her? Why didn't she tell Yana about these feelings? She laid it all out, how she was feeling, how she was feeling ignored and disconnected, and how she just wants her back in her life. Be in my life, please. Oh, whoops. This poor woman needs help, and she sure didn't get it from Yana. I know. <sighs> Fuck. She was such... It's such a horrible mental space. And the only person that she would have accepted help from is the person that was putting her in such a horrible place. From the person pretty much least able to give it, or at least willing anyway. All of that, all of her feelings she laid out, but then she didn't actually send it. What she sent was this. Dear big sister, I lit the candles just like you asked me to. Don't worry, it's all dealt with. Hope I see you soon. I wonder if Misun actually told her how she felt. If Misun sent all this to Yana. Do you think Yana would have given a shit? After after Misun's suicide, Yana basically said that she would have. You know, that she would have been there for her. If she knew, but I don't know. Do you think that's true? I don't know if that's true. Queen Consort. That way. Hyane, you are a noble consort. I know you know exactly what she means. Oh. Poor woman. For ah, damn it, it disappeared. Scheming mastermind. But Emperor Ryu approved of it. I... I sure know that part. Well, she got everything she wanted in the end. All right, let's grab some more. All right, is there any more M3? Yes, there is. And let's go to M... What's the next one? Six? No, four. Four and then five. Maid interrogation. I'll be his bride. Striking back at society's betrayal. Unity Act. The Pale Bride and moving in. Let's see. 44... Let's go with the Unity Act. I spoke like that to Emperor Taijo. I don't like your tone, Counselor. 
I love how old Mute was such a badass. I can't believe I defend the principles of that awful society like this. <sighs> Jeez, if she'd gotten her way, things would be so different. Well, that would be... That would be what? Nothing. Wow. Just wow. Alright, that was the first abstention from a vote by Councillor Mute in the ship's history. Which says a lot. Because the ship had a long history. There's something I want to talk about. What is it, Yane? I think... I think it's time for another break. We're almost near the end, so... Alright, fair enough. Okay. Like, what did you want to talk about? Well, it's... I feel like... Uh, sorry, could I have a moment to talk to the investigator? Okay, sure. Mute seems to be doing better than before. I'm really glad. So am I. I'm really, really glad. She's returning to form. It was awful seeing someone as strong and abrasive as her reduced to such a wreck. I know. And what would have happened if I wasn't there for her last night? She'd be dead. Yep. I don't even want to think about it. Hey, Mute, um... You've been in love before, right? Whoa, where's this going? Do you think she'd admit to it? Because I remember in one of the logs she said that she doesn't love anyone, right? Or she, or she stopped loving people because she loses everyone? She continues on while they die? What's she going to say? Uh, yeah, of course. I'm still a woman. Okay, so she's not going to say she doesn't have any... She's never loved anyone. That's something, at least. Right, right. Wait, is this about old Mute having Hyo So Young be in love with her? <laughs> yes, yes it is. Do you think she would admit to that? She loved Hyo So Young. She did. She obviously did. I. It just seemed like she repressed it, but she did. And Hyo So Young definitely loved her. Uh. Maybe a little bit. Tangentially, I suppose. Well, I mean... I've been in love with men, okay? Nothing weird like that. I've never charmed any woman like that. That would be... That would make sense. Sure, Mute. Sure. I see. I'm not like that, and I mean... It's not like old Mute reciprocated either, come to think of it. I mean, how could she? Well. Oh, jeez. Does she think that I'm in love with her? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I need to calm down. I'm sure she doesn't. So, uh, did you ever fall in love... Uh, fall in love first, or was it uh, the man who made the first move? Of course it's the man who makes the first move. Like, it's better that way. Ah, oh, Mute. Even if, it was, even if it wasn't improper, men don't really want that anyway. That's just how things are, okay? Oh no, this isn't about the investigator, is it? You're not asking me for advice about him, are you? No, no, of course not. Jeez. <laughs> this is getting really awkward. This is really awkward for everyone. Me included. Okay, just checking. Well, there was one time where I fell in love with someone... And when I tried to tell him, well, it was unrequited, okay? What was he like? I'd, uh, rather not say. One does not prefer to acknowledge the mistakes of one's youth? Sure, I guess. I'm just babbling. Babbling doesn't help me any, I know. I just feel like... Reading about old Mute. I know you think she's complex, but... 
for all her faults, she was still really cool. <laughs> yes, she was. She fought really hard for what she believed in. She was stubborn and tough and honest. Yep, I agree. I still resent her for failing me, and I don't know. The mute we know can be so judgmental, too. Yeah. But... She's admirable in a lot of ways, isn't she? I, I think so, yeah. Judging by, by how old Mute was, I know she could be really, really great. I agree. But how do I say... But what do I say to her? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Well, obviously don't say nothing. Speak from the heart. Normally I'd say with Mute there's no way in hell that's going to work, but then again, a hug worked, so... Maybe. Isn't tell her how you feel and speak from the heart the same thing? Hmm... Just, uh... Speak from the heart. You're right. That's the thing to do. I just need to be honest with her. Okay, come on. Come on. This is gonna work. Come on. Mute, I, I just want you to know. Maybe you won't understand, but I really feel this strongly. Mute, I'm in love with you. <laughs> okay, I, um, I, I thought she might have meant that when she said I... Based on something she said previously, but I actually didn't expect that to happen. She, she is? Wh how? How the hell is this going to go down? Okay, that was a poor choice of words. What's going to <laughs> What's going to happen? I. Given her current attitude, there's no way she would be into that at all, or at least she wouldn't admit it. <sighs> hmm. I... Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's, just, <laughs> let's see what happens. Jeez, uh, don't mess around with me like that, okay? It's not funny. I don't have any patience for jokes. Jeez, after I said something that embarrassing, she doesn't even believe me? I thought if I just confessed, that would be the hard part, but... She didn't even take me seriously. What do I do? Well, you already tried speaking from the heart. Can you do it again? The hell, do it again. Right, I just need to make, I just need to make sure she understands. Come on, we're going to break through that hard, mute shell. Even though I don't really understand my feelings myself. Still. You gotta try, yeah. I'm in love with you, Mute. Please, don't just dismiss me. I'm serious. Wait, do you mean... You seriously... You feel about me... Like that? <laughs> this is so... I... This is so adorably awkward. Just, just look at... This is amazing. Just looking at her face and then looking at Hyane's face. Look, look at... <laughs> this is so cute. Yes. <laughs> I, I don't even need to say anything. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm, I'm a woman, Hyane. I'd never even... I'd never even... I'd never even consider something like that. Oh. That's what I was afraid she'd say. <sighs> Mute, we're gonna break through that freaking shell of yours, okay? Come on. Come on, Mute. I mean, it's not, if she, it's not as if she's the type of person who'd just open up immediately to me and be able to look at a girl the way I look at her. Maybe it's just impossible. No. It's probably going to take time, but it's not impossible. Jeez, oh, I really hope I didn't scare her. But, uh, like, 
Can I ask what it is you see in me? I, I, well... Was... I don't even know what that is. Was she just being... What? I don't even know what that word means yet, let alone how to pronounce it. Sun, sun? Soon, soon? S soon, what? I don't know what that means. Anyway, what do I say? <sighs> Let's see. You're really cute. Well, hmm. It's kind of surface level. Anything that comes to mind, uh... That could be dangerous. You're ri you're really admirable. She doesn't seem to think so. Since she kind of hates herself. Uh, hmm. Really curious what some of the alternative options would do here. That's why I'm going to keep saving it. Just in case I want to come back. I'm kind of curious what anything that comes to mind would say. But I think you're really admirable would be the best. Let's do that. I think you're really admirable. You always speak your own mind, even if it hurts. You take the things that are important to you really seriously. You have really strong principles. Well, I guess when you put it that way. But it's not as if they added up to anything in the end. Oh no, jeez. She's not getting depressed again, is she? I know you still did a lot of good. How do you think Princess Ryu would have turned out without you in her life? Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Not very good. I guess I can take some credit for being there for her. Right. But what's with the sudden change of heart? I thought you didn't agree with me. I thought you hated my principles, the principles that the new dynasty was founded on. You know I still stand by all that, right? Just because Queen Yana lied to me, just because she did terrible things, doesn't mean I don't still believe in Emperor Taijo's dream of people being in harmony. I don't like that, of course, and I wish she'd see it my way. It's not harmony, it just sucks. But that isn't what's important anymore. Now I just want to show her how the world I came from isn't as bad as it seems, and it, that it's not barbaric. I want her to be in a world that'll let her be as brash and assertive as she needs to be. I didn't have a change of heart. Then what? I've seen what a person like you can become. Old Mute? I don't want to be like her. She's... She was over-controlling and stupid and rude and all of those things got her killed. That's not what I mean. What I mean is... Uh, well... You'd say you're both very different, right? Yes, we're nothing alike, okay? That's not true. You're alike in a lot of ways. You both always say how you feel. You both believe in protecting weaker people. You both have a really direct way of talking. You both believe in family. You both believe in love. You both believe in stability. You came from two very different times, yes. But you both believe in the same things. Well, okay, but we're still, like, totally different. Maybe you have a crush on her, but that's not me, okay? Jeez, that's not what I mean. What I mean is that no matter what, even under different circumstances, you're still always good. Being good is just an intrinsic part of you. Even if I don't agree with a lot of the things you think, I still admire you. Oh. I, uh... Well, thank you, but... I'm happy to be a role model, but that isn't the same as love, okay? But... But what do I say? <laughs> anything that comes to mind, anything that comes to mind, you're really cute. What are... What are these anything that comes to mind options that keep showing up? It seems like the game really wants me to press these. Well, I mean, it isn't just that she's a role model, she also is really cute. I, I could go with that. Whoops. Okay, you're really cute. 
I think you're really cute. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna be so adorable. How's she gonna react to this? I just know her next expression is gonna be one of embarrassment. Come on, let's let's wait for it. <laughs> oh, that's it? I mean, my appearance, well, you have the same base code. You know how it works. This is just how the original Princess Ryu looked, but 2D. Down to the outfit, even. Queen Yuna told me she looked like this when she was young, but... I guess that was probably a lie, too. So, really, what you're saying is just, like, who you find cute is the daughter of the woman who betrayed me. Uh, whoops, I did... It. oh god. <sighs> um... Bad option? I think I chose a bad option. Uh, that made it worse. I didn't mean to remind her of that. Whoops. No, no. I think you're cute because... Uh, I like the way you talk. You're really bold and honest and you say things like, Okay, a lot. That's really cute. <laughs> I don't say that a lot. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. This is so adorable. This is amazing. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you're being fair about your appearance, either. Look at me. I always wanted to be tall and have long legs and stylish glasses and, uh, well, big boobs. That's just how I want to be seen. It makes me feel like I have some sort of control. Meanwhile, you're not afraid to present yourself as little. And I know right now, that isn't even your normal height. You're actually scaling yourself down to make yourself take up less space next to me. Oh, jeez. You noticed that? <laughs> what does it even matter, anyway? Well, you know, even though you say you look just like Princess Ryu did, that's not really true, is it? She had natural black hair. I, well, like... I couldn't change that. It's the default. It doesn't change. I'm not really hitting on anything that works, am I? Jeez, why am I so useless at this? No, you're doing pretty good, Hyone. I always thought if I just had someone to confess to, it'd be perfect. But it's actually really, really hard. Wait. Did she just say... Ah, I've got her. Wait, what is it? Is that what you told Queen Yana? That you weren't able to change your gold hair to something natural? Yeah, of course. Old Mute was able to change hers to white. Ah! Well, so what? You don't have to pretend, Mute, I understand. Well... Well... Even if you do think I'm... cute, that's not love, that's just infatuation. I, uh... But what do I say? Okay, now literally the only thing I can say is anything that comes to mind. Here we go. Anything that comes to mind. Is that really such a good idea? I think it sh Um... I should think it through. <sighs> Stop just going behind my back. What were you going to say? I... Well... Yes. I just... What? I... I know things are tough for you, and I know Earth is going to be really strange and confusing. So when you're feeling sad, I want to be there with you. I want to give you reassuring hugs. And when you're feeling hopeless, I want to brush your hair and make sure you understand that everything will be fine. That's... Please, let me finish. I'm not done. Okay. I want to be there at your side. I want to be the older sister who helps keep you stable when we're both scared of the world. Because there's one thing I know in my heart. I just know it, for sure. No matter how scary things get, it's always better to face them with someone you like holding your hand. That's what I believe. Are you done? Yeah. Well, like... You? How could you possibly be the older sister type? I'm 312 years old. To look up to you for emotional support would be... Uh, you know I'm way older than you, right? I'm over twice your age. I'm 640 years old, you know? You can't count the gap like that. Uh, sure I can. I was awake. The whole time, all 622 years of it. <sighs> I guess you're right. But I was activated in 2390. That's vastly before your time. That doesn't count. I thought you said you weren't old mute. I'm still older is my point. 
That doesn't count. Jeez. Besides, I was born on August 30, 2415. Jeez, 25 years is not vastly before my time. You were asleep for all of it. You were a totally different person for all of it. Well, uh... Just, just count it properly. I'm 640 and you're 312. I'm older. Ah, fine. I guess it's a welcome change, not being the oldest woman around, anyway. I still don't accept your feelings, though. Yet if you're old enough to be like an older sister to me, I don't accept that you're in love with me. I'm not okay with that. Fine. I understand. What? The... The, the game crashed. No, the game crashed! Uh, okay, hold on, I... I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I started the game back up, and I am uh, right back to about the area I stopped at. I don't remember exactly where I was at, but this is very close to it. I don't accept that you're in love with me. I'm not okay with that. Please don't crash again, game. Fine. I understand. Let's just get back to work, then. Okay. But, uh... You know, if I have to get a body on Earth, like... Okay, this is past where it crashed, so I guess it worked fine this time. I don't know why it crashed before. Maybe if you helped me with my hair, maybe that would be okay. Oh, that's... Uh, that's so sweet. Ah. She really is just... I... I... Okay, what is that word? Hold on. T-sun, T-sun. I, I know it's not pronounced that way. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna figure out what this word means. Soon, soon. I'm, I it's probably pronounced that way. The short. Oh, it's the short nickname for the word sunder, or however you pronounce that. Uh. Silent treatment to could mean uh, can mean anything from silent treatment to love struck kindergartner who pushes you into the sandbox. Wait, what? Okay, well, whatever. Good enough. <laughs> Accepted. Jeez, don't get so excited about that. Aww. Let's just get back to work, okay? Okay. <laughs> she even included a little star. You know, before I joked about how they'd make a horrible couple. But. I've changed my mind. I, they... They'd have issues in the beginning, certainly, but... They actually make a very, a very cute couple. Alright, maid interrogation. Did you see the picture of the maid? She's cute. Jeez, Yane. She is so cute. <laughs> this one? Yeah, oh my gosh, she's adorable. I'm just saying, I wouldn't mind interrogating her. What does that even mean? <laughs> this is amazing. I'm so glad I'm playing the harem route. The harem route is the funniest damn thing. This is this is amazing. I love this. Wait, was morning attire not usual? Ah. Oh, uh, morning attire is really boring. Show some respect, Yane. Queen Yana's sister was dead. Sorry. Yeah, I don't remember anyone drinking tea with the servants either. Of course not, that would be weird. Right, that's after the little sister's death, Misun's death, where Yana was trying to process what she was feeling. That's a little bit, uh... I will be his bride. Now I just feel bad. Well, I understand that feeling. Oh, of course you would. I said I'm sorry. I... I can't parse this. Striking back at society's betrayal. I... A self-righteous bitch? Then why did you ever re-enable me? I'm sorry, Mute. Why? I... 
Never would have thought. She was thinking of her little sister the whole time. I don't know if that makes it okay, I just... I don't... I know, it's just... I can't tell you how much I wish you were here. I hope you'd be proud of me, and it hurts so very much that I'll never hear you say it. With love and sorrow, Big Sister Yana. I truly hate Yana, but... Just... I don't know. The Pale Bride. This should be interesting with both of them. Oh, that's me, that's me, that's me. She's writing about me. Yes, dear, we know. Earthborn Brilliance. Finally, someone who acknowledges that my real parents were smarter. So you respect some of your ancestors, at least. <laughs> Wait. How did she figure it out when Kim chung Su couldn't? It seems obvious to me. I... I did? Oh yeah, that's the part where she wakes up. And she goes back to sleep and she never remembered it. I don't remember this at all. You know, maybe it would have been better for everyone if she just kept you awake. I hadn't thought of that. You're right. That actually is true. It might have been better if she was just kept awake. Wow. To think how different everything would be. If that one simple thing was changed. If she was just woken up a bit earlier. What the hell would have happened? Moving in. She's really not doing okay. Why would people be afraid to talk to her? I don't understand. What? And just look at her. Of course they're afraid of that poor, fragile, obsessed woman. What she's discovering is shocking, but... Okay, but she needs to learn to prioritize. Alright, let's grab some more. Two more. <clears throat> Two more blocks. Let's see, I don't think I'm done with M5, right? Not quite. Now let's start on M6. I do have enough for the other three, right? Three? Yeah. Okay. Everything will be alright. <sighs> Unfortunately, it wasn't. Because that log was written days before the reset to year zero. Of course he doesn't share your optimism. Why are they fighting? I thought he was good for her. It's hard, but he should have been like this a long time ago. For her own good. No, mute, no. Okay, like, this is just painful to read. It is. No, never mind. Jeez. You didn't even mean it. Can't you see you'd be happier that way? Wait, but that date is right before... Oh, I get it. Right before the computers were wiped. Yep. The Duke Council. Gee, she's scary and rude. Yep. Huh. How disrespectful. Don't you sympathize, though? What a thing to suggest. Yeah, nobody deserves that. 
I knew it would come to this, but still, like, that's awful. It's a hard truth, but he's surely not wrong. I guess. Oh, jeez. See, that's why women security officers are a terrible idea. <sighs> that's an awful thing to say. That is still not okay. Wait, how is he not the most important? Well, maybe she means... Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Wait, is she saying, even at that time, men did things like that? Men will always be men, dear. Wow, that's kind of cool of Mute, actually. Okay, okay, it's good for her to be it's good for her to be protective, at least. Ah, so this is about Xiao Yang's husband. If the language of the classics isn't good enough for you, what is? There's lots of good things written in Hangul, you know. Like what, Hide? Your silly comics about maids? There's other things. This sure is like a lot of flowery language to defend barbarism or barbarianism. Jeez, what is with the swearing though? Well, like, this was a speech meant for men to hear, so it's okay. Good advice. This is a speech for men to hear, so it's okay. Yeah, you need to protect women's delicate ears from fucking cursing. Ah, <sighs> mute. So they never found out who killed Professor Kim, after all? I guess not. Old mute wouldn't even let her be a good mother. I'm sure it was important. Jeez, Jenny, what could possibly be more important than being a good mother? Oh, I don't know, mute the security of the entire ship? Just a thought. Wow, yikes. It's just completely unfair to put a woman in that situation. I know I'd be terrified. Really? Oh, god, it skipped. I thought Mutant didn't like the president, though. Why are they... Because, like, that's what being in charge of security means. It's her duty. Wow. Intense. Intense is an understatement. Like, she's way too emotionally volatile for this. It's just not fair for her. Yes, and the ship was a better place for it, you petty woman. Wait, what? Navigation AI? What, you didn't know? I had a mission patch with him on it. He was really cool. No, I didn't know. But it makes sense. Oh. This dynamic. It's really uncomfortable. You think so?
No, you shouldn't be able to. What the hell is wrong with the society? Old mute, you liar. But she's trying. It doesn't matter if she's trying. You know full well how this ends. That's not enough. This false confidence. All right, the final three. <sighs> Daily report to Oyana and... Politics make strange bedfellows, which I'm pretty sure is the last note or last message that I've read every single time I've played this game. I keep doing everything in almost exactly the same order. I wonder if that was the same house I was in, or... Not necessarily. The royal family has moved a lot. So women like Xiao Yang were just disconnected from reality? It's not weird. Why would a woman like you even want to be there? Oh, her. Oh, her. Are they talking about Ai Chong? I think they are. I think I'd like the report with the potted plant thing better. This is awfully well. It's no place for a noble woman, that's for sure. Um. I guess she must have felt powerless, huh? Uh, like, I'd expect the same thing if I spoke out of turn to a superior. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we knew that. Wait, they can't be talking about... Yuna, right? Wait, old mute could do that? I could never have used the root password. I'm not capable. Do you think that was changed when you woke up? She... She really was conspiring against Emperor Taijo. Oh my god, look! Misspell! Report bug! My immersion is ruined. Conspiring. Actually, no, that's... I've seen, like... Have I seen any other spelling mistakes? I can't remember. I, I think... I feel like I've seen one or two others. But to have a couple, a couple spelling mistakes in a game that has... Tens of thousands of words is, is still exceptional. I can't believe it. Ah, <sighs> here's the last one again. This is a different feeling than the other logs with him. The other log with him. And just as uncomfortable, though. I just... I don't get... If Old Mute put Emperor Taijo into power, why'd she want to take it away? This isn't right. Respecting elders is most important, but... This isn't... But wouldn't Old Mute be the eldest, by far? She really idolized her, huh? That's not the important part. This isn't right. This isn't right at all. She's really cool, though, isn't she? Ugh, not you too! <laughs> and that's it, that's the last one. So I guess this is it then, yep.
What the, what the hell is this ending going to be? I have no idea. Well, that's all there is to read before we return to Earth, I suppose. Yep, that's everything. So, uh, thank you, Mr. Investigator, for letting us play your sidekicks. No problem. Speak for yourself. I just wanted to find out what happened. That's all. And, well, like, I learned a lot. That's for sure. But, uh, Jenny? Yes? I'm, uh, kind of glad you were here for me today. Having you there to support me, uh, well, it was good. <sighs> of course. Thank you so much for saying that. Okay, okay, let's not make a big deal out of it. Let's just move on. Earth's not far away. I know I've learned a lot over the past three days, too. It's been difficult for me, too. I don't know what to feel. All of this has been so sudden. But thanks for rescuing me again. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Investigator. I, uh, I actually meant you, Mute. <laughs> I thought she did. It was your decision to take me with you, remember? Oh, uh, like, I guess so. Please don't say I guess so. That was one of the most important decisions of my life. I'm trying to be grateful. When you came for me, when you didn't have to, that was the first moment I knew you were actually really good after all. Really, that was when I fell in love for the first... <laughs> okay, no need to finish that sentence, that's enough of that. <laughs> They're so cute! Look, there's no need to be all dramatic here, okay? No big trite speeches about personal growth or whatever. We're going to be able to talk on Earth pretty soon. There are star system entry procedures and stuff that we really need to get busy with. Yes, Mute. <laughs> I'm really happy, though. Everything worked out completely perfectly. There was an easy solution to everything. We both got the girl. Nobody got hurt. And nothing in the past really had any sort of consequence in the end. Wait, what? Wait, what? Nothing in the past really had any sort of consequence in the end. Uh... Am I missing something? It, what? Yes, yes it did. Huh? I just love a perfectly happy ending. This is what I always dreamed of, and I guess dreams can come true after all. Okay, I get the feeling that this ending is... Since it is supposed to be impossible within the universe of the game, it's kind of like a... I just, I just said ending. I meant um, this this route. This whole harem route is supposed to be impossible. Within the universe of the game, it doesn't make any sense, and the game even comments on that fact. And given this, I just love a perfectly happy ending. This is what I always dreamed of, and I guess dreams can come true after all. I get the feeling that this is sort of like a... Sort of like a joke ending. Where everything works out for everyone. But of course, in reality, given the story, it's not supposed to work out for everyone. Alright, what's the big dramatic concluding line we're going to end on? It should be good, so you can screen cap it for posterity. Yeah, okay, this is just full-on breaking the fourth wall here. <laughs> what should I do? Okay, I'm gonna say- This is amazing. I love this game so much. What kind of a game does this? This fourth wall breaking to this degree. What kind of a game has an entire route through the game? One of three major routes through the game that is not supposed to even be possible within the universe and yet has tons of custom content. Uh, totally custom playthrough. Built around it. People just don't... Game developers just don't go that far normally. This is so out of, out of the ordinary that it's amazing. Talk about hate. Talk about analog. Just kiss her. Well, I mean, come on. It's not even an option, right? Just kiss her. Yeah, that's a perfect thing to end with. A kiss. How romantic. Hey, little sister mute. Oh no, geez, get away from me. <laughs> oh, oh, it's this song. I heard this song. Christine Love uh, linked to it. Th this song is amazing. I'm going to stop talking so you can listen to it, and then I will be back, okay? Seriously, listen to this song. This is no arrow, sorry. We'll show you smutty CGs. Those things aren't romantic to me. My system went 
must be detective. Saved by a space detective. It's a cutesy little love story. You read my appeals. Traumatic reveals. While sharing my feelings. But dialogue reveals. Against mine, and help me to forget why my first kiss was owning burning stone. I'll live and reconsider my fear of wifely matters. If you let me prove my love is real, I want to feel free to speak honestly. How much modesty? So, someone like me. Okay, was that amazing or what? That song is awesome. Okay, it's even restarting. Cool. Uh, by the way, you can listen to the entire thing for free. I will have a link in the description uh, for where you can listen to it. It's got the full lyrics and everything. Yeah, all right. Um, let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, God, they're so cute together, aren't they? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> With dialogue wheels. God, I love this song. Oh, me so embarrassed. I heard you like visual novels. Ah. <sighs> Okay, well, everyone, that was the end of my, uh, my third playthrough of Hate Plus. Normally, I'm not much this, uh, normally, I'm not this much of a completionist, but for some reason, this game has me hooked. Now, those are the three main routes. The Hyunae route, the Mute route, and then the Harem route. However, one other change I can make is by playing as a female instead of a male. I don't know how I don't know how big of a difference that makes. It's probably not nearly as big as playing through with a different person or both of them at the same time. It's probably a lot less significant. 
but I don't know until I try it. So, um... Yeah, actually, right about now, I'm going to try starting the game, but playing as a female. And I'm going to start off with Mute, actually. Playing a female with Mute. Because there's actually an achievement for playing through Mute's route as both a man and a woman. N normally, I'm not someone who cares at all about achievements, but... For some reason, I'm in a completionist mood for this game, and I want to do everything. And if I do this, I'm pretty sure I will have every achievement done except one. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of the male harem route, and in just a second, I'm about to start the female mute route and see if anything's different. <laughs> 